feel like I've just been five rounds with Tyson. <laughs> I'm going to sleep very well tonight. And I think we've uh, thoroughly earned a bottle of wine or two. Yeah. Oh. Some wine and tea. <laughs> <laughs> the draw, the thing that basically brings a lot of people to cave diving and definitely for myself, is it is quite definitely in this time period that we live in the last field where human beings are mandatory for true exploration. Cave diving's unique. In cave diving, a human being with reel of line has physically got to go there. And when you get to the end of the last person's line, tie your line to that line and swim around the next corner, you're the first human being that's ever been there. It's true exploration, much like Shackleton, Amundsen, Scott, and all of these early explorers did, because there was no choice. In cave diving, there's still no choice. And that's why a lot of us are so passionately driven by it. You have the opportunity, with a sensible budget, to be an explorer. And it's pretty much the last field left where a human being can be an explorer. I'm also a runner, I like to run long distances, but I've never taken part in an organized race. It's kind of a, an escape, a solitude. I can think and chill out and just disappear from the real world. I think also with cave diving or, or diving a wreck, my primary motivation has never been to leave my mark on something. I don't necessarily want to be first so I can stand on a big chair and go, hey, I was first. It's a more of a kind of Peter Pan never grew up childlike approach that I want to go around that corner and see that first because I want the privilege of seeing it first. I think it actually is impossible to describe to someone who's not done it anywhere to have actually, you know, whether you're kind of Livingstone walking through the jungle trying to find the source of the Nile or whether you're Hillary standing on Everest for the first time, unless you've actually had the privilege of being able to tread on a piece of the planet or, or outside of the planet or anything at all that nobody else has done, look at it and go, wow, nobody's actually seen this before. I don't think you'd understand it. I don't think you can describe it to someone who's not been there.